you guys look way back on my channel, I'd say probably two years ago or so, maybe even longer. I did a tutorial on how to get the PS3's media server up and running. If you don't know what a media server is, basically it streams content from your uh, PC, whether it's videos, TV shows, uh, music, pictures. You can actually view these things on your PS3, wherever your PS3 is hooked up to, like your, your living room on your 60 million inch TV, or whether you have a setup like me that's just on my other monitor. But you can stream these things to your PS3 through your um, local internet connection. And so it, it really is very convenient, I guess you could say, because you can view all those like gigabytes worth of stuff without having to take up any space on your PlayStation 3. And it works extremely well. I think Sony's done some work on it. So it does work better than it used to, at least it does for me. But it, and it could also be the program I'm using, which is more of the point of this video. It's going to be sort of like a Mac app review, and it's something that's definitely worth checking out. It's called Playback, so let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to go ahead and find Playback. It's right here. As you can see right now, media sharing is now off, which means that the server is not up and running. So my computer has all this content, all these movies, whatever, but the PS3 will not be able to detect them on the network and no one else can either. Some creepers outside your house with his laptop and gets on your Wi-Fi. If this is on, he can access your files. So you could probably get in trouble for that, especially if you're one of those people that, you know, has illegal stuff on their machine, like downloaded videos or whatever, movies. Uh, you could probably get in trouble for that. But anyway, so the point of the media server, like I said, is to stream all this stuff. So how do you set it up? Well, as you can see here, it's broken down into movies, music, pictures, and all this other stuff. So we'll go back to the main tab of status. You can choose what you want to share. I'm going to deselect pictures just because I don't find myself wanting to, you know, view my pictures on my PS3 where I'm, I can just view them on my computer or have them on a flash drive. Pictures don't take up that much space. So you can get, you can give, uh, name your server whatever you'd like. I'll name it, uh, Chia. There we go. Alright, so movies. Now you can choose the path where you, all your um, movies are. So I, in my case, I do have some TV shows. Um, I have just some like home movies, a few DVDs I've ripped, uh, some stuff like that. So it's nice to be able to have these on my network on my PS3. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it's really easy to add a path. Let's say I make a new folder on desktop and I call it movies with a Z because I'm a gangster. You know, you can go to add and you can go to desktop movies. And so if you had movies in there, then you could stream those. So it's very easy to set up. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Okay. So you can do the same thing with uh, music as well. You just go to wherever your music is. On my case, it's backup, which is my one terabyte. This has just everything on it. So when I have to restore, everything's already all backed up. You know, all I have to do is uh, drag the shortcut into here and it's it's just the way I left it before I restore. So if my primary partition just decides to crash or my hard drive gives out, I don't lose one single thing. Everything is right back where I had it, which is awesome. So I have my music folder. As you can see, I have my videos folder, everything. So it's music, and here's all my music, all my artists, just right there, right where I need them. Pictures, I don't have it set up because, like I said, I don't really use it. Uh, sharing. Now this, you can just sort of configure how it looks on the PlayStation 3. Uh, you could show the file extension, so if something is an AVI, it'll be like Robin Hood, name of a movie, dot AVI. You know, it'll show the file extension. So, uh, yeah, moving on. Access. This is where it's cool. This is probably like the security part. You could, uh, here, I'll go ahead and turn my PS3 on. And you should see up here, oops, in the right hand corner, like a little notification pop up. It really doesn't take long, but your PS3, anything on your network has an IP address, so you can configure this to only allow those devices, the, like those IP addresses. So, hold on, it should, oh my, my um, server's on, I'll go ahead and I'll start the server, and then that little thing should pop up, as you can see there it is, PlayStation 3, so it's um, done that. So now if you come back to access. Here's the IP address of my PlayStation 3 right now. If I wanted to, I could say that and I can only add that. So I can select all the content I want to share, my just my movies and my music. And then I can allow only these devices. So if I don't want anyone else's computer on my network or any creeper be lurking outside my house in the shadows at night, I can just have my PS3, which is a lot of uh, the, it's a feature that a lot of uh, media server applications don't have. Um, I've looked around and just um, I'd, I'd say well over half of them didn't have this so this is really cool to see 
uh, general display uh, playback status menu. This is just for OS 10 stuff, like to have the little icon up here. Um, it'll, it'll, this, the cool thing about this, I'll show you guys later, is it actually shows what's being streamed. So like, if I start streaming a video, a little notification will pop up here saying that I'm streaming it. And uh, you see this right here, notify via growl when streaming movies and music. It just it tells you when something's streaming. So like if I'm if I'm just chilling here and I see something's going on that I don't want to, I can just stop it. So it's 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 a very secure program, which is very nice. And you can have a check for updates. I should, I should probably have that checked. And enable hotkey for settings. It's not really important. That's just if you want to go to your settings, you can just set up a key to do it. So uh, my media server is running. So now let's go over to the PS3 and see how it looks. Alright, so here I am at my PlayStation 3, and just in case you don't know how to start your media server, you want to go to your network settings, and all the way down to media server connection, and make sure that it's enabled. If it's on disable, it obviously won't pick up your media server. So once it is, you can search for new ones by going here, but it should automatically find it. Mine always does. So, and it doesn't matter if you're on um, Ethernet or um, wireless connection, my uh, Mac or my Hackintosh rather is Ethernet and my PS3 is on Wi-Fi so it, it works fine as long as you're on the same network so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll walk you guys through this uh, we'll go into music first and I don't want to play like too much music due to copyright but we'll go and the first thing I want to point out is that it just goes right from your iTunes library so being an OS 10 application they're just known for like you know integrating their stuff you know just to have it seamless you know the whole iLife suite is really integrated with each other so it just works very well and this program is no exception you know it takes right from your iTunes so I could have all my podcasts here you know here's all the episodes um, I have all my um, artists right from iTunes all my albums different genres even playlists will sync up fine with this or like I did you could just go right on your hard drive and take a specific folder with mp3s or AIFF or whatever and then you could just have them play so I'll go ahead and I'll go to iTunes artists and as you can see, I already have a song queued up. I love it. But it, as you can see, uh, everything does come up rather fast. I have a pretty long list, so sometimes you will notice, like, you know, sometimes it does have to load. But it is over your internet connection, so. Well, not really internet connection, it's just like your local network. So you could, my internet really isn't that fast. It's only 3 megabits down and 1 megabit up. But it still handles all this stuff perfectly fine. So we'll go ahead and we'll play, we'll play some YDG. So you can, this is like a real time, no editing. You can see how long it takes to load. Not long at all. Oop. So, okay, as you can see, I was going to try to do like, point out that you can multitask while listening to songs. Here, I'll go to this song next, and I'll turn the volume down so you can hear me talk. Another test of how long it takes to stream. So I'll, I'll go ahead and point that out now that you can multitask while listening to media server music, which is awesome. And that's enough of that for copyright reasons. But you know, all all my MP3s, whatever, they all work very well. So uh, we'll go to movies, videos. Uh, we'll go with some TV shows. We'll do a really old episode of The Simpsons. And we'll go ahead and we'll do this one. Just classics. Uh, so if you want to fast forward, it does work. You know, if you go like times 10 though, it does get kind of glitchy. But you know, for the most part, it really does work. It works very well. And obviously these are really old, so they're not in high definition or anything. But it, the server does work right. well. And if, as soon as I start streaming something, the program lets me know on my, on my desktop. So I'll go ahead and I'll stream one of my own videos. Uh, we'll do how to install K-Meow. And you can see, sorry for that glare there, there's my head. But as you see on that desktop, you know, it has that ground notification. So if, if someone's trying to access my media server and I don't want it, you know, it, my computer tells me and then I can, you know, um, disconnect them from it. I can turn the whole server off with a click of a button. And so this program does work very well. As you can see, it preserved the quality very well. It's 720p, just like you know my all my videos are. It it maintains that and does a very good job at loading them. As you can see, the intro is just super crisp. 
it doesn't lose any quality when streaming and like I said I've watched TV shows on this and even in high definition there is just no lag you know I've watched probably 10 episodes total of different shows and all of them work perfectly there's no hiccups there's no burps there's nothing I mean it all just works it plays straight through no audio problems or anything you know this program just dude it does a great job so that's pretty much all I have I highly recommend this program it is not available for Windows at least as far as I know my older video was Windows based that was for XP but uh, you can use a program for Windows called PS3 Media Server, just one word. It's Java based. It It's nowhere near as uh, smooth as this. It's not as intuitive as this. Not as easy to use as this. But, you know, it does work. But that's kind of how everything is on OS X, just simplified. It does, it does great things, just simplified. Awesome. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, I'm at CPUKid on Twitter. You can also check out iTechCity.org. And you can also check iTechCity out on Twitter, which is at iTechCity. So. I hope this video helps you. You know, if you're trying to think of a good media server app for uh, OS X, I highly recommend this one. It's pretty cheap. I'll have a link in the description if you want to uh, check it out. So that's it. Thanks for watching.